racist black stereotypes are still going on today. Of course we remember when whites used to dress up in blackface and act like clowns and idiots, but did you know all of this is still going on today? The same people who used to put on black makeup now have the money to pay blacks to act like monkeys. These are racists who use their billions of dollars to turn black people into what they want them to be. This type of plan was first used after the creation of affirmative action. Many whites were against this and they were frightened that they might lose their jobs. So they had to find a way to make blacks unhirable. The only way to stop blacks from taking white jobs was to somehow convince them to be stupid and lazy. So during the 70s, every black man on TV was only allowed to be ignorant. They had to be cool and sly. Pimpsters and gangsters. These stereotypes weren't seen as entertainment by blacks. They were seen as reality. Many black men started dressing like these men and acting like these men. The whites in power knew that black people would do whatever they saw other blacks do on TV. So they made sure to give blacks bad role models and idols. Although millions of blacks were hypnotized, there were black people who spoke out against these awful stereotypes of blacks on TV and the plan stopped for about a decade. The white powers tried to quiet the blacks by creating good wholesome shows like The Cosby's, Different Strokes, and others that portrayed black men as normal Americans. But near the end of the Reagan administration, this peaceful stereotype free era would come to an end. The Republicans wanted to move jobs overseas. They knew that if whites were to lose their jobs, there would be hell to pay. So the best way to keep white people working was to eliminate competition from blacks. Then came the onslaught of horrible black stereotypes, which are still going on today. The government finds poor black men and pays them millions to act like stupid fools on TV to convince kids to be thugs just like them. This depleted nearly half of the young black workforce. Many young blacks now have tattoos and felonies that make them unlikely to be hired. After the passing of NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, the government didn't need rap music to hypnotize young black men anymore because it was now legal for them to move jobs out of the country. However, when George W. Bush got in office, the country was experiencing a recession. So they had to create a new black stereotype to get blacks to spend money to boost the economy. They went and found young attractive black men and paid them millions to make black people feel like shit if they didn't have lots of money to spend. The new black stereotype was spend black people, spend, 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 spend. This was when the subprime mortgages took advantage of black people eager to spend by trapping them in loans with high interest rates. Of course the black people were going to take the loans because now these days, if you're black and you don't have a lot of money and a lot of possessions, you ain't shit. Now, at this time, we are currently in the trap music phase. The government has been making money off crack cocaine for a long time. In late 2004, early 2005, crack sales were slumping, and they created a new black stereotype that say all black men sell crack. They found young men like Jeezy, Gucci, Jock, told them all to rap about selling drugs. Young black men all over the country are still falling for this, and they believe that their only way out of the hood is to sell drugs. But most black kids who listen to the rappers that tell them to sell drugs also listen to the same rappers who tell them to waste money on buying the white man's merchandise. So even if you were able to make money off drugs, you would still be broke because you spend your money on bullshit. During the times of blackface when whites pretended to be blacks, black people knew that that wasn't who they were and they acted exactly the opposite of what the white man portrayed them as. Now, instead of black makeup, they now pay real black people to do the job. It's easier for blacks to get confused. Even though these people are real Africans, they are still being controlled and scripted by white men. Just like that white man with the black makeup on years ago.